don't know if there was a turning point. My life, probably like most people in the room, it's been a series of little turning points. And um, I mean, I always try to grow. I, I used to be a litigation lawyer. That might be a turning point. I I didn't really like. I didn't really love it. And uh, I think I'm more an artist than a lawyer. Not that lawyers can't be artists, but. And I self-published a book called Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. Everyone laughed at me. No one thought anyone would read it. I self-published it in a 24-hour copy shop. My mother was my first editor. My father helped me sell it at uh, public service clubs. And people read the book and just through word of mouth, I started getting invitations to speak and it led me down a, a, a new way. I'd also say the turning points to me have been when I've been down on my knees in my most difficult times when I was suffering or in pain, you know, there's a, a great idea. It's a bad day for the ego is a great day for the soul. And so when we go through our tragedies or difficulties, our ego wants us to rush out. But I think we actually grow into our wisdom and humanity and decency and humility and we discover the truths of life when, when we're in our most different, in the valleys of darkness. And so it's counterintuitive when anyone who's going through a divorce or loss of job or illness or loss of business, there's, there's gold in that difficulty. Jonas Salk said it well. He said, I had dreams and nightmares. It was because of my dreams that overcame my nightmares. And so when you're going through a difficult time, stay in it. Don't rush out of it. Feel the emotions because they will, your pain actually can purify you and open you up to, uh, to a much better way to lead. Fantastic. What, what are your thoughts?